Welcome back. I'm Evan with It's a Necessity .net, doing some uh, Swell Pro Splash Drone uh, tutorials here, and uh, we're gonna today work on the the base station and the app and and show you how all of that go goes. So, got this is what you're gonna need now. You're gonna need your controller. You're gonna need your Android or your uh, iPhone, and then you're gonna need the little um, Bluetooth data link receiver. And all you're going to do is you're gonna have everything powered up. You're gonna click this on. So you got your uh, green and red lights, and then you're going to connect it to your phone. So if you just, let me just move this out of the way. If you just turn on your phone, if you have an iPhone or you're using a, an Apple product, um, I wasn't able to just find the app on on the uh, Apple Store. So, but on the Swell Pro uh, website, which we'll put put a link to, you can get that little. I don't even know what they're called, the thing that, you know, you take a picture of it and it grabs the app for you. So I went and got uh, Q Rafter, yeah, Q Rafter, which was just to, to use that that uh, barcode idea. And then I got the Swell Pro app through that. So you'd click on the Swell Pro app. Um, you want to make sure that you're connected to the internet um, via, you know, 4G, LTE, whatever. Uh, and also, it's probably not a bad idea to download um, the map in Google Maps that you're going to be using so that if for some reason you, you know, tap out then it's it's still it's still there. So this is what the app looks like and we're just going to go over the basic functions right now. You just this is your, your all your information of what your drone is doing and at this point I'm going to close that and right now you can see there's a tiny little phone in this field that we're at. That's where we are, but there's no airplane. There's no drone. So you have to connect it. So once you have this turned on you go to the Bluetooth and you find it will always start with UAV and that's your drone. So you're going to connect to that. It's going to give you a couple seconds. And then there you go. Now you can see that our drone has appeared on the screen. If you zoom in too far, the map disappears, but there, there she is right there. So basic functions, um, I'm going to go through that now. Okay. So uh, one important thing to understand is that once, once you started up the drone and the app has taken over, you cannot control the drone with your controller anymore unless you switch back out and that is very easy to do. All you have to do is if you're freaking out, the app doesn't seem like it's working or you don't, you're don't, you scared, all you got to do is take your Switch C, click it down to ATTI mode for one second and click it back up into GPS mode and that will cancel out the app and put you back into control. So that's important to know also you have to take over the or you have to um, start the motors yourself via the controller before you can use the app so in that same scenario if you're trying you're trying and, and it's just not turning on do the same thing go down ATTI mode and then up and then you should be able to take care of it again so I'm gonna fire it up here and just show you what each button does so take it down got my motors running so now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna take control with just the phone I'm gonna turn that back on App is still open. I've noticed my phone's shut off while the drone is flying. It doesn't seem to be a problem. I try to avoid it, but um, yeah, it seems to work fine. So you've got return, which is the RTH mode. It's going to return home. You got the takeoff. You got the ascend, descend, hovering, and then aim more. So to start, we're going to go takeoff. We're just going to press that button. You're going to see the drone is going to do its own thing, and it's basically just going to go up to about three meters or so. It's just going to hover there. Then we're going to hit ascend and we can see that the drone is going higher. And then it's going to keep going, so I'm going to hit hovering right there and just tell it to stop at that point. Then I can go descend a little bit. Now the one thing that's a bit different with this is that, you know, if, you, if you're not paying attention, it's going to keep doing whatever it wanted to do. So you got to switch back again and say, no, stop, hover, ascend, descend. And then when, you're, when you want to go home, when you want to land the drone again, if you haven't done any waypoints or anything, you would just hit return. And the return button is going to take it over, it's going to proceed to do its regular thing, climb to a certain height, fly back and land itself. But for the sake of this one, I'm going to go back into hover mode and I'm going to descend just a little so I can see it where it is. And then I'm going to say hover right there. 
and I'm gonna take go to the A more and it's very it's very important that you try and really make sure you push the buttons right where they are because sometimes you'll be in a waypoint mode and you'll try and hit the A and you'll put a waypoint over there so just be very careful when you get the button and we're gonna go guide mode and then I can tell it to go more into the center of the field just by hitting that waypoint so now you can see it's going over there and when it gets there it's gonna hover until I tell it what to do again so there we go now you know, it's there, everything's happy, I'm playing with the camera, getting my footage, I can just say, no, come on over there, and just click it to another spot on the field, and it's gonna go to that guide mode. Then we'd hit return home. I just noticed that, I don't know if you heard that beeping from the side, but my battery's getting low, so I'm gonna return it home. And again, you've seen me in previous tutorials, the drone knows exactly how to land itself, do all that, but I'm a bit of a, a uh, control freak so once it gets close to home I usually take over and do it myself that way I can't blame anything else but I'm gonna put that down so remember I don't want to use the app anymore so to take over I'm gonna switch down to ATTI back up and I should be in control now there we go and I'm gonna slowly bring it down and replace the battery and keep on with the tutorial Lock it up, and there we go. Thank you, controller, for letting me know my drone was dying. I'm going to shut that off and go switch out the battery. OK. All right, so we're back on the app. Got a new battery in. Um, and we're going to go through a few of the functions. So let's go back into the mainframe. So we just went through the takeoff, ascend, descend, hovering, and then you have the AMOR. And you saw me uh, do the little guide mode. And that's very simple. In guide mode, you just hit guide mode. And wherever you drop that point, the airplane is, or the airplane, <laughs> the quadcopter is going to go there. So you can just change it all the time. It's basically how you would fly it if you just wanted total control, just like you were using the controller. Ascend, descend, go here, go there, and then that's how that works. But if you go back into the A mode, now notice our, our airplane is missing because I put a new battery in. I'm going to reconnect, maybe. So we'll go into flight mode and say cancel. Hmm. Stand by. It's not giving me the option here. So what I would suggest doing at this point, which I've done once already, is I shut it off. I double click, get rid of, get, shut that app right off, and then just go open it again, and make sure that we got data. There we go. So now we found it again. Coming back in, and voila, our airplane is back. All right, so if you want to plan a trip, have it go into an auto mode, which would be here, auto, guide, and then follow. Follow is just gonna follow the receiver. I'll show you that at the end here. But if you want to plan just a little roundabout session that the, that the splash drone does, then you go into waypoints right there, and you would say add. Now when you add a waypoint, we're just gonna send it into the middle of the field right there. It shows you right at the bottom that this is waypoint one, and it says that it's gonna be at a 30 meter height. So if you wanna change that, you would just, actually let's, let's plan our route first, and then we'll go back and change each one. So I'm just gonna keep it very simple. It's just gonna go two places, do a circle, and come back. So waypoint one is gonna go over there. Now here's what I, I learned. So if you don't, if you don't take off on your own and you go into the waypoint and you say, you know, auto mode go, it's going to take off towards that point right off the get-go, which isn't bad, but keep that in mind. If there's something in the way, you want to be careful and, you know, make sure you get it off the ground, then put it into auto mode. So that's what we're going to do. So our first waypoint is going to be there. We're going to add another waypoint, which is just going to be a little further up. And then on that waypoint, and, th and then we're, yeah, and then that's good. And then after that, we can hit return home. So we have two waypoints. We'll keep it simple. If we click on the first one, you have two options. You can just go to waypoint, or you can scroll down and it says in circle. And on the waypoint, for this one, we're just going to say, let's go up to a height of, I don't know, 9 meters, 9.7 meters. A little hard to get it precise, but we'll say 9.7 meters. And we'll say, stay there for 10 seconds. 10 seconds. OK, 12 seconds. <laughs> then we're going to say, save and return. So that's the first one. So now you can see it says 10 meters at the bottom and number two still says 30 meters. So we're going to go to number two 
and we're, we're going to do that one different. We're going to say when you get there, we're going to go to encircle. And we're going to put the altitude at, we'll just say, uh, 7.8 meters. And then, all right, I'm just trying to get that. Set, ooh, 36 meters. All right, I don't know if you can see that very well, but we'll just say, yeah, 6.8 meters. So it's actually going to come down in height a bit. And we're gonna say, let's give it a hover radius. So because it's in, in circle, we're putting it into the circular mode. So the hover radius is the distance from where that point is, that waypoint, out, out from it, and then it's gonna hover around that waypoint. So if you knew exactly where somebody's car was or somebody was standing, or you could just see it, you could hit that and say, let's go do a circle around them. So we're just gonna give it a small circle to stay in my field here, and we'll just say 3.5 meters. Now it goes track turns, so that's how many times it's gonna complete the circle and then the steps and the step altitude. I'm just going to put it on one turn and I'm gonna drop my steps down completely. And then I'm gonna save and return. Okay, so we've inputted our two points. We got the first waypoint there at 10 meters, second one at nine meters with a circle of, um, and a radius. So we're gonna say sent. Got it, we're back over there now. We're going to unlock the motors. We gotta click down to take over with the controller again and unlock. There we go. And we're gonna come back to the app and we're gonna say take off. Alright, so we got our take off and we're just gonna hit hover there and then we're gonna go into more and we're gonna say auto mode and that's gonna take that mode that we just had. So now it's gonna take off over to our first spot. You can see the airplane, uh, airplane logo starting to move. It's going to stop at number one. It's going to hover there for 10 seconds, I think we put in. Now in that time, you do have the ability, I'm just going to drop this down. You do have the ability to still control your rotation and to deal with your camera, because ours is really not level right now. And so you can do your cameras and your rotation. Now it's flying over to point number two. and it's got its radius, there you go. And now it's doing that circle around it. So you saw as it headed towards point number two, it came off of the main track so that when it got there, it already had its circle. And now it's dropping down to the height that I specified. Doing its radius. And it's finished. So it did its full circle, and now I'm just gonna return it home. It's going to take off, it's going to get up into a safe height, and it's going to return back to where it took off from. And then the only other one that we're going to go over in a second here is um, the follow mode. I'm not going to hit it right now because if I did, it would uh, come into this little bullpen that I'm in. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit cancel, and I'm going to take over and land my drone. Okay, so uh, last step is we're going to do the follow me mode. I'm out here with the drone now. I'm going to uh, take it off. I'm going to use my iPhone to control everything. I'm going to leave my controller with my wife who's behind the camera so if something goes awry she can take over again. But uh, so yeah let's just get those motors unlocked and then we'll talk about the app here. Alright so I'm just going to set this down. Don't need that anymore. Got my iPhone. A little hard to see. I know it's difficult but right now I'm just going to use it to take off. We're going to send it a little bit just so it doesn't chop our heads off. And then we're going to hit hover. So I'm fully controlling it by that, that way right now. And then if I just, actually let's just focus on here. So if I just click A more and I say guide mode, I mean follow mode, then it is going to follow me. So I have the receiver in my pocket right now, so let's check it out. Now again, in this mode, it has the ability to, um, you can still control the filming. So let's just get it to follow me.